Greg you doing? The sun in your eyes? Yeah. My nose is running. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Yes. I'm looking. I'm watching him. <laughs> yeah, we're outside. Um, so Amanda and I were kind of talking. Uh, I think we're gonna start doing videos on the weekend because we do want to capture like Noah growing up and stuff. Um, and if we have a, I don't remember the last video we put out. I Did think it was, it? I think it was first time, I think it was Noah's first time at Disney. Oh my gosh, so they don't know we're pregnant. No. <laughs> yeah. Well. She, she has a baby bump. I'm 22 and a half weeks pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, and it, we do know the gender. Yeah. Um, we can probably say the gender and the first letter of her name. Yeah. Um, it's a girl. I just said her. So it's a girl and uh, we'll call her baby M. Yeah. For now. Yeah. Um, and so we'll film on the weekends, but if I have a doctor's appointment midweek, I'll try to take you along with me if he can't make it. Usually he can't because we need someone to watch Noah and with like the whole COVID thing, yeah. it's just easier for him to watch Noah than us to try to get someone else to watch him. It's been an interesting year. Very. And, um, we could probably update more the next vlog on baby M. Yeah. But this one, we'll just do like a life catching up one. Just yeah. Just like. There's a lot. There he is. How old are you now, dude? 16 months. 16 covered in oatmeal. Months. Oh my goodness. Oatmeal and dirt. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's, is that yours? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You want to go play in the rocks? Yeah, let's go. We, we have a acorn collector and uh, he likes to collect rocks. Still so. to eat them every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Here, would you like to play with your rocks See, and acorns? There's a bunch of rocks in there and acorns. You wanna play with those? There we go. But yeah. Um, so, a life update. <sighs> Obviously, we're pregnant. Yep. Uh, and um, I'm 22 and a half weeks. Noah is 16 months old. And long story short, we had two realtors approach us about our property. Uh, and tell us that our property is actually zoned commercial. So yeah, all of this, we have 3.74 4 acres, yes. which is three and a half, three and three quarters acre, like yes. acres. So it's a lot. It, there's a lot here, and they told us that it was actually tell them tell them the full story. Well, I wasn't very nice when these realtors showed up because Noah had just gone to sleep and I was having a really bad day. <laughs> So I was like, what do you want? My son's asleep. I'm glad you didn't knock because we met them outside. And they were like, oh, well, basically, um, you know, this land is so commercial and all of your neighbors are already listed. Because at first I tried to say we weren't interested because like, I love this property, obviously. And uh, what, you going back to the pigs? You heard a squeal. Yeah. Um, oh, one got in our yard. Well, the, the, little, the little ones the can little fit one. through the fence, yeah. The, the little one over here can fit through the freaking fence. I think fence. it's in the backyard, though. I don't think it's right no, there. No, it's, it's literally right there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, he's going for it. We all right, bye. Uh, all over the place with our story. That's like life with a toddler now. We'll be in the middle of talking, and then we have to pause and do... Oh, that's probably really bright for them now. No, that's good. Um, and then we have to take care of him. Oh, yeah, there's a baby pig right there. Hey, Baba, there's a baby over here. Oh, it's really spooked. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna go back. So, bye bye. Woo. Okay. Anyways, so um, at first I was trying to say we weren't interested, but then they told us that. I hope there's no wasps in that tree. But then they told us that all of our neighbors had already listed, so we would be the only ones left. And therefore, if we wanted to sell in the future, after all 
around us had sold that nobody would want to buy it because it'd be the only residence in the midst of commercial so we were like oh okay and then they told us a dollar figure and we just could not walk away from the dollar figure and then they told us we're allowed to take our mobile home with us wherever yeah. we go so that's really nice because this house has a lot of life left in it and we we love this house like we love the inside of the house so you know transporting it's not going to be easy we might have to doable. we might have to lose the well, the we, living room we might have to lose the living room temporarily and rebuild it because it's an addition so it can't like be pulled by the truck um and we'll have to rebuild the porch so we'll have to do a little bit but we have already made arrangements of where we're going to live while all of this is happening but we're not under contract yet not even a serious offer yet it's very early it just started a few weeks ago i think we've been on the market for i think two weeks, two weeks. maybe so we don't expect it to go fast and actually we're hoping it kind of goes slow because as far as taxes go it'd be in our benefit to be living here for two full years instead of just one year so i'm making sure he's not eating a rock <laughs> um so yeah um so that's happening we've got our our land for sale <laughs> Well, there is a spider over there. It's a small one. I'm not. I know, but I don't want him to get bit. I don't think he will. I think it's just one of those little tree, the green tree spiders. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on. Um, work is starting to slow down a little bit because work was really crazy there for a while. So you know, trying to work full time, both of us, and take care of Noah, was a lot. Um, we've got Baby M's nursery completely finished, which we can show you. Mm -hmm. um, and I I love it. I don't know about yeah, it. Yeah, it looks really good. I love it. Came it came out really well. Um, this pregnancy is flying by. It's like we snapped our fingers and we're over halfway. He just tried to eat a rock. <laughs> and it's really hot over here, so I think we're going to move him to the shade really fast. Another one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that is a like Noah's new favorite thing to do. He loves to ride on the lawnmower. Uh, he likes to put his hands and like act like he's cause like he controls the lawnmower. <laughs> but I, I mean, I don't know why he likes riding on it. He just loves it. <laughs> they literally, he just wants to ride around. That's all. That's all he ever wants to do. weekly updates from the realtor um, more listings have been added our we call them our donkey neighbors because they own donkeys <laughs> they just uh, decided that they might want to they're still seeing if they want to um, it would put the whole grid basically at over 30 acres which is um, appealing to large franchises like grocery stores targets uh, stuff like that so um, they're working on marketing to those people because when it was just the across the street people, the 10 acres, um, they couldn't market to the big franchises. So now they are. Um, our hope is that this happens in plenty of time before the baby is born, like not right up against my due date, or in plenty of time after the baby is born, like eight weeks after. Because if it happens like right around whenever I'm due, that's gonna be very stressful. Oh god, that's gonna be so stressful. So it's really up in the air. There's no way of knowing for sure. Um, so that's a little stressful. Oh, are you out of water? Do you need more? You need more water? Hmm. Huh? Yeah. More? Here, I'll I'll get you some more. Oh, oh whoop. okay. Thank you. All right, I'll go get him some more water. <laughs> So that's all for our life update for now. Um, we'll update you more about Baby M next weekend because we have a doctor's appointment this week on Wednesday. Um, so we'll give you more of that. 
next weekend and today is Sunday so we're just gonna do some chores and play and hang out oh yeah get all that grass done we gotta show, we're gonna show them the nursery and yeah, stuff yeah we can so. show you the nursery um the only thing about this pregnancy which was like it was wildly different from Noah's um with Noah's pregnancy I felt like I was dying <laughs> every day um I was so sick with him and just overall felt terrible. This time I didn't even get sick until seven weeks and I was only sick in the evening and it wasn't even that bad and it only lasted like two weeks. Um, the only other thing about this pregnancy that's different besides feeling a million times better is I'm actually a hundred times more tired. Now the doctor keeps telling me it's just because we have a toddler um, who we co-sleep with so you know I'm not getting the great that great of sleep but I don't know this just feels like more than that I'm gonna ask her about my iron and magnesium because it just feels like I'm just way tired all of the time I can take a three hour nap every day <laughs> so yeah so that's our little update for now a lot of changes okay so now we're gonna go ahead and show you baby M's room and here it is oh goodness I forgot there was flowers in here <laughs> They're dead. They're very dead. <laughs> I gotta clean oh. all this up. There she is. There she is. I gotta clean all this up now. And this, I'm knitting. So I actually started this blanket when I was pregnant with Noah. How's that going for you? I'm getting closer. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the closet. Anyways, this is her room. Amanda did all the decorations. She picked out everything herself. So we have this little corner like bookshelf here. Yeah, we, <laughs> we just screwed it right into the wall. Yeah, because we have him. Yeah, we don't and want we to don't, pull it down. Yeah, so I just took some some screws and screwed it in to the wall. So, I, there's that, her crib. I love this crib. We went with, like, with a dusty blue kind of. Yes, dusty blue flowers and bunny rabbits. Um. We actually got these at Hobby Lobby, but those bunny rabbits I got off of um, a website called Oslo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but these crib sheets and changing pad cover is from Carousel Designs. I found this at a Dollar General for 15 bucks. <laughs> it's not Zach's favorite. It's not my favorite. I think it just looks like somebody, like a toddler, just grabbed some paint and then put it all together on that. <laughs> That. So, and then I got these pieces off of Etsy, these watercolor pieces. Um, and then I, this vase actually was funny. I've had this since I was 15 years old. It just happened to match the room. It just so happened. Got this uh, oh, I should little show glider. Them. Yeah, it's pretty nice. This thing's the Mac Daddy so, gl of gliders. It glides, but it also. Babe, oh, he's taking out her clothes. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. All right. And this is Noah's also favorite thing to do. Okay, buddy. We're not going to do this. But here are the other two paintings. Here, you can do your clothes. Oh, there we go. Hold on, bud. And then here's the other one. Hold on, I'm going to close this. So yeah, this is her room. It's, a, it's not the biggest room in the house. So basically, here's Noah's room. There's our office, laundry room, that's our master, bathroom, and then here we are. This is Baby M's room. <laughs> oh. 
All right, it is sometime later. Uh, we went over to Amanda's dad's apartment and hung out there for about like 45 minutes or so. Came back and he is, he's knocked out for a little while. But um, it is actually pouring out right now. So yeah, with a little blue dot. We're getting some nasty stuff right now. We do have a cold front coming in. So, it's gonna be nice and cool for a couple of days. I think the high the next couple of days is like, what, 84? Actually, on Wednesday, it's only 78. 78? On Wednesday. Yeah, we have a baby appointment on Wednesday. Wednesday. So, it's gonna be feel real nice. Okay, we got power flicker in. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. The fan in the room will go off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, power flicker in. It's raining hard, so. But Amanda is finishing cleaning up the house. Listen, you wanna know something? What? Power outages with children is 10,000 times worse. Yes. Than power outages whenever you don't have kids. Yes. Because we, we had power outage one time. Oh no, our air broke. Yeah. yeah our air broke at the old house. That was literally the most miserable thing because he had to sleep in just a diaper because it was so hot it was the summer and uh and then we've had a power outage before where i was doing his nap and he slips with a box fan on for white noise and that went off so he woke up early and just power outages with kids it's just so much worse. yeah i'm not a big fan of it but it, i'm hoping he does not wake up because He's exhausted. We, we, he's kind of in a transition where he's going from two naps to one. And his bedtime is like 6.30, 7 o'clock now. It used to be like 8.30. So he's, we've been doing this for about two weeks now. And he's just, he's, he's still getting used to it. But yeah, I uh, just made some dinner. Made some chicken. Amanda had some potatoes left over um, that she's going to have. Um, and then we're just gonna watch some TV because that's the only time we can really watch TV is when he is asleep. But we don't know how long he's gonna stay asleep because the storm is so bad. Um, I mean, it's literally just growing right on top of us. So we'll see. 